presentation. We will continue with uh, the next speakers, if they are here, Magna Dilip Marik and Nitu Kanchan Dani. Sorry. Are they here, please? Hello. Yes. Yeah, no. uh, so uh, their topic is uh, Will gender equality be reality? And both of them come and represent Dune Business School. Okay. Yeah. So please, uh, and I kindly ask you, so it is one minute past, um, I don't know it, what's in India now. Uh, so you have eight minutes. That means that at nine past the current timing, I will be kindly and seriously ask you to comply with timing, please. Hello. Hello, I'm Yes, yes, you are. Uh, Please continue. So, this is Megha Dilip Marek, and I would like my co author, Nitu Kanchandani, to present. Uh, can I ask? Okay, so can I share this screen? Hello? Yeah, you can. Try to share it. Yeah, try to share it. Meanwhile, you can start introducing the topic so that we are not getting into further delays. It's oh, coming. Yes, ma'am. Except hello, that, ma uh, yeah. yeah, now it's a fine. Yeah, hello, ma'am. A warm thank you to all for giving us this opportunity. And I am Neetu Khanchandani and my co-author Megha Marik. We are from uh, Dune Business School, Dehradun, Uttarakhand pursuing our MBA. And here we are to present our research paper on the topic, Will Gender Equality Be a Reality? Uh, it is a study about challenges faced by women in Indian society. And so we'll be going by the table of contents in which we will be studying about the uh, objective of the research paper, the research questions, abstract about the paper, literature review, variables of the research and conclusion. So talking about uh, the objective, we have uh, our research paper has uh, an objective to analyze the current situation of gender inequality in India and to dive into the major factors leading to gender inequality in India and to analyze the overcoming practices on the gender inequality by India. So our research questions are, uh, have been, what has been the current scenario of gender inequality and what have been the major factors that are leading to gender inequality and has India been able to overcome the gender gap prevailing in its society? So, uh, talking about our abstract, the very famous quote by Sarojini Naidu, the Nightingale of India, when there is oppression, the only self-respecting thing is to rise and say, this shall cease today because my right is justice. And our research paper talks from the dominance of goddess Shakti uh, to the faded voices of the normal common uh, women of India and from gender inequality to women empowerment. So gender inequality, the word itself, you know, says the unequal uh, treatment or discrimination among the uh, genders in our country, which is the male and female. And it is not, it is like a very, very evident about the history of India, the rich culture and rich religion which our country serves. And still there are some parts, some areas of India where the women are still struggling in the society, you know, to, uh, to gain their identity, to gain their stand and to work upon their career development. There are many, many hurdles and struggles that women are facing. We are talking about fe feminism and women empowerment. But up to my view, I have only uh, like uh, see it on the virtual platforms, on various talk shows. So are these 
all talks on feminism and in the, uh, on women empowerment are limited to all these virtual platforms what about all those ladies in the rural areas uh, they aren't being exposed to these uh, various talk shows or various you know uh, virtual platforms and the fundamental rights of uh, women uh, women have been implemented by the constitution of india uh, but due to these backward and orthodox uh, mindset of the people of india Lovely. there yeah, are there are those stigma Please continue, please continue. So the factors affecting gender inequality, uh, gender equality in our paper, we have taken the patriarchal setup, which means the male dominating society where the female have been fighting for their identity in the male dominance and the social practices and beliefs and customs which have you know created hurdles for the women to create their path for their career development and their identity in the Indian society. Child marriages, poverty, lack of awareness, illiteracy have been the great factors that have been affecting the gender equality and uh, keeping women very, very far away from, from, from making their own identity in the society. Uh, talking about the workplace discrimination, this is the most uh, emerging topic, most uh, concerned uh, discussion in today's time where the uh, corporate world is inclusive of discrimination on the basis of gender and uh, gender biasness has been viewed in many various activities of the organization such as the pay scale promotions etc where we can see the male ego and the bossy attitude create hurdles for the women to you know move forward and uh, various acts could be viewed in order to provide equal and safe opportunities to women such as sexual harassment of women at workplace 2013 and the companies act 2013 which proposes that women must have some uh, some part of uh, the directors board of directors in the company and there are many topics regarding the leaves for women regarding periods pregnancy post pregnancy which are a uh, issue like women are not getting these leaves easily in india in the organizations of india uh, i kindly ask you to keep up with timing so you have one yeah. minute and please don't continue at a i don't know ordinary pace yeah you have to fit in the timing i kindly ask you to do that Yes, ma'am. And these are the literature review, uh, which have been talking about the gender gap and uh, global gap index, uh, where the illiteracy rates have been uh, seen declining, but still having a ratio uh, increased in the male literacy rate more than the women. Uh, the literature reviews talk about various researches about uh, the various factors which we have been talking about in our uh, research paper. Megha, you can move forward from the literature review. So these are the variables in our uh, research paper, the gender inequality, biasness, and gender discrimination. So we would like to conclude that uh, Indian urban area is at a developing phase in each aspect, but the discriminatory aspects still are prevailing in our society. Yes, there is development in the there are some parts of the India, but still there are many many gaps to be you know filled by our country to give women equal rights and make make you know fair paths for them creating a great future in India. Thank you. Thank you for your consistent paper. And also I can see uh, a lot of effort into researching this topic, which definitely requires everyone's attention. And I hope uh, men in, in India will become more um, also interested and to affirm it in practice because research has to go in hand with uh, daily practice